Well, two teams that have vastly underachieved this year in the NFL, the Tampa Bay Bucks and the San Francisco uh, 49ers square off on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time in a game played at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And uh, right now the 49ers are the favorite in this contest. And I have the winning side uh, coming up as a free pick. And also my analysis on precisely why I like that game. Just a friendly reminder to folks, I have the winning total in this contest San Francisco and Tampa Bay winning total up for sale right now at Wager Talk at my personal link, wt.buzz slash RB. It's a 4% best bet, um, and uh, my 4% best bets in college football, NFL combined on a 44 and 22 run, folks. That's 67%, and that'll make you a lot of money. So San Francisco, Tampa Bay, 4% top play total on Sunday up right now. At my personal link, wt.buzz slash rb. Uh, also, folks, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. It's absolutely free. And uh, while you're at it, go into your uh, YouTube settings and click on your alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. There's a like button underneath. I'd kindly ask if you could hit that like button. It's a small token of appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put in. And also, uh, folks, it uh, keeps these videos exactly what they are across the board on Wager Talk TV, and that's free. So hit that like button. And if you don't feel like hitting the like button, I'm not going to crucify you. Uh, I appreciate you watching. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. San Fran right now is a six-point favorite at Tampa Bay. Uh, San Francisco four and four on the season, Tampa Bay four and five uh, on a three game losing streak. You know, um, both of these teams have been ravaged by injuries on the offensive side of the ball, specifically so <clears throat> uh, to their skilled position players, which has really affected uh, their ability on offense. And they're still putting up good numbers, both teams on offense, even though they're they're shy some players, but it attributes to why they're not doing so well um, or as good as we expected before the season began. Christian McCaffrey's been out all year. Uh, they've been banged up at the wide receiver position, meaning San Francisco, Brandon Ayuk out. Uh, Tampa Bay's will probably be without Mike Evans again on Sunday. Uh, and uh, they'll definitely be without Chris Godwin. They're two top uh, wide receiver targets in Pro Bowl type of receivers uh, will be missing for Tampa Bay. But with with um, their absence, Tampa Bay has still showed an ability to move the ball over the last two games. Uh, San Francisco, here's the thing. They're coming off a 30-24 to 24 home win uh, last week against Dallas, uh, or in their previous game, excuse me, against Dallas because they were coming off a bye week. They haven't won two games in a row all year. As a matter of fact, the 49ers 0-3 straight up in ATS following a win this season. In all three of those games, they were a favorite. Tampa Bay, on the other hand, they're coming off a 30-24 to overtime loss at Kansas City uh, in a game they covered as a sizable nine-point underdog. Since last year, the Tampa Bay Bucks have gone 6-0 and against the spread off a loss by six points or fewer. Uh, their average point spread in those six games was plus 3.1, and they outscored the opposition, those six opponents, I should say, by an average of 4.8 points per game. So they've thrived in this situation. I mentioned the Bucks 0-3 straight up in ATS in their last three games. However, those losses came to Kansas City, Atlanta, and Baltimore, who right now, as we speak, folks, have a combined 21 and six record this season. So it's not like they're getting knocked off by teams they should be beating. Um, and they've kept them games pretty much competitive, losing by losing all three by 10 points or fewer. Uh, the Bucks are also 0 2 straight up in ATS in the last two seasons against the 49ers, meeting uh, last season and the season before. But both of those games were played in San Francisco. So uh, they'll have a little bit of a revenge uh, in their favor when it, for motivation when it comes to Sunday's matchup against the 49ers. Also, the Tampa Bay offense, 
Uh, I mentioned they continue to roll. Their last six games, 32.5 points per game. Um, and, you know, whenever you have an offense that's scoring at that rate, and even the last two games, like I said, um, they they put up some decent numbers. I mean, they scored 24 against Kansas City last week despite having less than 300 yards of offense. Uh, whenever you have a team that averages that many points per game and is capable of moving the ball the way Tampa Bay is, it gives you a puncher's chance uh, using a boxing analogy when you're an underdog in, a ma- in that matchup, especially if you're getting the uh, sizable number like we're getting here, which is six points. Also, NFL underdogs in November uh, versus a team coming off a game in which they scored and allowed 24 points or more like San Francisco did. Those NFL underdogs, 24 and five against the spread in the month of November since 2020. Uh, the average point spread was 4.6, and uh, the underdogs outscored those 30, 29 favorites, excuse me, by an average of 2.3 points per game. I'd like the Tampa Bay Bucks here plus the six to keep this game awfully competitive uh, over to San Francisco 49ers. I would not be shocked to see an outright upset here. However, I won't be foolish or greedy and take the points. So Tampa Bay plus six against San Francisco. Uh, folks, two specials going on right now over at Wager Talk, site-wide f- uh, college football or NFL uh, season passes. You can get $50 off each simply by using the promo code FBALL50 at checkout. That's FBALL50 at checkout. Uh, that would take my uh, specific NFL package from four twenty nine to three seventy nine. My NFL or my college football from three twenty nine to two seventy nine. And those annual packages include right through the Super Bowl in the NFL and right through the college football championship game in college football. And folks, again, my college football number one in money earned uh, at Wager Talk since early December of two thousand twenty two. I'll be back with another free pick video. Very shortly, don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, and also, folks, uh, I'll take care and God bless. And let's make some money this week.